welcome back to another episode of Never Winter Nights with me, Lorenzo Castillo. So, where we left off, we'd just been talking to um, Lady Arabeth, and we are probably going to try heading to the Thingalog district. Um, Peninsula, is it? I think. Uh, yeah, right, so. Who's this fella? Tommy Undergallows. What a lot, eh? You have the smell of a prospective employer about you. Not that it's easy to smell anything with all the burning corpses in this city, mind you. <laughs> Never seen this many flies outside of a Callum Shot alehouse. Who are you? Me? Why, I'm none other than a renowned road, Tommy Undergallows. Green to me friends, Tommy Green to the lassies and act down darfling to anyone in a position of respectable authority. I can forgive you for not having heard of me, however. I am most recently from Kalimpur. Ah, that's a long way for even my reputation to travel. I'll give it another week, personally. So this fellow is obviously a rogue. He's one of them dashing fellows. <laughs> Stealing things he shouldn't. Um, do you always talk this much? Unless you're sneaking up for a good backstab or in a sack with a pretty miss, I really don't see the need for restraint. Silence is for the dead. Although I hear they can be a bit too chatty at times. Uh, it's quite a long way to travel. You know how it goes. I'm sure rob some over fat human caliph with piggy lips, kiss his daughter as a lot before you escape with a loot, and suddenly you're the most wanted man in Calamshan. How was I supposed to know that he was so sensitive about his daughter? I still say it was worth it. I took flair, and I have flair. Too bad Neverwinter didn't treat me any better at first. What happened then? Neverwinter seemed to find enough city for an enterprising young halfling like myself. On the surface, anyway. You'd be surprised at what people get away with here. I can take a perfectly innocent man, accuse him of civil pickpocketing, and throw him in prison without even so much as a trial. Well, not a very fair one, anyway. That judge was mean. Fortunately, my stay in Neverwinter's fine prison system was a short one. I didn't arrange from escape, oddly enough, but I was laughing it nevertheless. So you're a convict, then? Technically, I suppose I am. Trust me, however, they have so many other things to worry about in that prison. Even if they thought I wasn't dead, they wouldn't trouble, they wouldn't trouble, they wouldn't trouble with me. What do you, why do you say that? What trouble? The exact goings on within the prison I'm not entirely aware of, my lord. To tell the truth, I'd only been in the prison for a few days and was just starting to think about how depressing life was when, when it all began. The warden of the place began babbling some nonsense and started releasing all the prisoners, even the truly despicable types. Murderers, politicians, lawyers, you name it. I left the area quickly, of course, and wound up here at the temple. Nice, safe place to be. Last I heard, them prisoners were all tearing up the peninsula district, making a royal mess. Hmm, not the lawyers, though. They were just overcharging. Why would the warden release the prisoners? I really can't say. Some of the other fellows were talking like there was some powerful prisoner who was controlling the warden and making him do these things. Sounds too strange to me. More likely he was brain sick with a plague. The entire peninsula district is in an uproar. However, I don't think the local constabulary has it under control either. Come to think of it, I saw more than a few people getting attacked in the street in broad daylight. If you head to that part of town, you might want to take someone along who knows the roads, eh? Actually, I'm looking for some hired help to assist me on my mission. The man's offering, so why, not, why don't we take him up? Our mission, is it? My little pinky toes are quivering with curiosity. Or is that my danger sense? Uh, I'll go a long way toward explaining my recklessness. Oh well. What kind of mission are you on? We're a bit sceptical about telling the fellow our proper mission. So, let's just say, I work for Lady Arabeth. My mission is confidential. Ah, which makes you some kind of secret agent for the lovely elven lass. Must be exciting. I'd be glad to help out. For the right price, of course. So let's negotiate a bit, shall we? I can place my superior skills of theft, lockpicking and swordplay at your disposal for any task you choose. Providing you can provide me with a nice payment now. I rather doubt you'll find anyone else with my skill available, my lord. You seem like a fine sort of man, however. So let me say, um... 150 gold pieces. Perhaps we should try and persuade the fellow because 150 is a tad expensive at the moment, given we only got 215. 
Seems a little expensive. What about 100? Do I look like I just got off the last boat from the moonshades? I know how dangerous you adventurous types are. 150 or no love from Tommy. Mm, well, given that we need someone who's good at melee to sort of back us up when we're doing our spells and protect us, I'm not sure Tommy's going to be the best choice, because he's a rogue. Eh, uh, I'll be going now. Well, fine. Tommy Gander Gallows has better things to do. I'm sure someone will hire me any day now. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? So. Hmm. Abba did say there was a storm there, didn't she? Um, do I have to talk to her to shop? Welcome. Do you have news of the missing water Davian creatures? Or is there something else you need? Require temple services. Aha! Yes, a shop. Right, let's sell some of this shit we don't need. Uh, what we don't need? Potion. We'll keep over the one to fire. We'll sell these arrows. Uh, the frost we're keeping. We'll sell the sorcerer's robe and the rogue's tunic. We'll sell a couple rings as well. Star. 1d8, bludgeoning and piercing. That could certainly come in handy. 23. Yeah, come on in. We now have a morning star. We shall sell the dagger. Uh, yeah, right, we should be fine for now. Else. Jesus Christ, these are expensive. Uh, potions, potions. Now nah, we should be fine in the way of potions. Right. On to the real world, good people. The city call. Oh please, can you help me? You're with the city militia, aren't you? The guards at the gate said I might get help over here, but I don't know if they were serious or not. What is it, woman? Why are you bothering me? I... I'm sorry, but it's just so horrible. I thought I could find someone to help over here, but... Please, please listen to me. It's the Peninsula District. I live in there and... Oh, it's just horrible. They're killing everyone running for their lives. It's horrible. This does not concern me, get lost. But the Pentons in the district is in Tokyo. I mean the prisoners are killing everyone. Please. I've got nowhere else to go. I guess I'll just wait here then. Fucking crazy bitch. We're on a mission. Let's have a word with Hallian. Hello. Good morrow to you, citizen. Wait, uh, are you a new recruit? Uh, they're replacing the ones we've lost, are they? I need to ask a few questions. Hmm, the more information you have, the less risk you will pose to the rest of us on duty. I hope if I can. Have you heard of anything odd, any rumours? Might as well try and find out where the water Davian creatures are from anyone. All I hear is how bad things are getting. How many more men we've lost. It's like a war, except we can't make the whaling surrender. Last got on the different districts each hold their intrigues, I'm sure. All I know is that we're fighting a losing battle, even here in the core. Goodbye. Stay alive out there, recruit. Well, he was obviously no help. 
didn't know much about the Warden David creatures because he was more concerned with other things. Right. Um, let's have a look at this sign. Trade of Blades. This is a place where we can hire some mercs. Let's see if we can find someone who's who will be our uh, head smashing companion. Uh, right, so he obviously looks like he's a badass who will crack heads for us. Hey there, friend! I suppose I've got time to chat! Trade the blades ain't very busy today and I'm getting no of this waitress. I want to ask you some questions. I suppose, make it quick though. I have ever so many places to be. Yeah, right. Um, Arabeth tolerates mercenary news when Neverwinter has a standing militia. Watch your mouth, friend! I wasn't going to notice that when a few of the city guards died, she hired outsiders like you and started coming here. Just because we work for the ice bearer doesn't mean we wouldn't put it in line for the city. What do you know of the plague? You know, a sword can't stop it. That makes me worthless, I you? No one is hiring except the odd noble trying to prevent looting. Goodbye. Oh, then I've got drinking to get to. Well, since you can't hire him. Ah, oh, I thought he might be useful. Let's have a word with this fellow, though. Greetings. I see you are not yet infected by the plague that ravages Neverwinter. Among such suffering and misery, we who are not yet afflicted must be grateful for our health. Who are you? I am Dalen Redsiger of the Utgard tribes of the Frozen North. But it's been over a year since I left my people and came to Neverwinter. Now I earn my living as a blade for hire. You're quite well spoken for a half-orc. My father was an orc and the blood of his inhuman race is in my veins. But I was raised by my mother among the tribes of the Utgard. I'm sorry. But I don't know much about the Uthgard tribes. There are some in the city who call my people savages and barbarians. They know nothing of the Uthgard. We are great warriors and hunters, following the herds and living off the land. My tribe is noble but small. Among them there was little chance for a young warrior to prove himself or earn a wife. But I am young and strong, and my people are renowned for their skill in battle. Here in Neverwinter I found work on the docks as a guard for the cargo and shipments being transported. Then what happened? The coming of the plague changed everything. The quarantine halted all incoming or outgoing ships. There was no work and no money. I should have left the docks then. Many of the dock workers were afflicted, men I had come to know as friends. I stayed to ease their suffering, but in the end I could do nothing to save them from the wailing death. With my friends dead, there was no reason to stay in the docks. Not with things getting worse. Now I earn a living with my axe as a freelance mercenary. I'm looking for a good mercenary to help me in my mission. I am no stranger to battle or bloodshed, but I am a warrior with honor. I will not undertake any sinister mission. Had I desired such work, I could have found employment back at the docks. We think it might be better to be honest to this this guy because maybe he'll be more inclined to fight better for us if we're honest about our mission, because our mission is quite noble. I work for Lady Arabeth. I have been instructed to find several missing creatures that are ingredients for a plague cure. Arabeth's reputation is well known throughout the city, so I have no fear your mission will bring dishonor to me. I will work for you if we can agree upon a fair price for my services. I am not one to boast of my own abilities, yet the skill and ferocity of the Uthgard tribes are well known throughout the north. I doubt you will find any other axeman for hire who is my equal. You have a noble and honorable bearing, so I will reduce my noble fee. Only 150 gold pieces and I am your willing servant. Hmm. Well, we do have a fair bit more money. 334, so maybe it's worth splashing out. We'll try and persuade him first, because we want to try and keep hold of as much money as you can. Seems a little expensive, I'll give you 100. Perhaps we could split the difference and settle on 125. 125, that's a deal. You will not regret this, my lord. My skills are yours to command. Ah, uh, fun. So, we now have a henchman, and we got him in a discount rate. Journal. Uh, Peninsula Prison Break. There's been a prison break in the peninsula list. Hatchman! Dalen, Red Tiger, a noble barbarian of the Uthgard tribes, has joined his mighty axe to your cause. His ferocity and prowess in melee combat will be helpful in the many battles you are sure to face. Dalen can also use his great strength to try and bash open any chests or locked doors you might come across. And if he dies, we just use the recall thing. Do do da. Uh, da, -da, -da, -da. Guard 
me. Uh, right. So we have a henchman. Probably the best place to start would be the Peninsula District. So. Off we go. Let's check the map. Uh, Docks, Peninsula. Right. So. Let's also check this crate. Which mean, no one's going to miss anything, are they? Oh, good. A potion. Very handy. Guard first now, we'll be fine. Here we go. Citizen, you should speak to me before going through this gate. Well met. Hail, good sir. The Wailing Death has taken a heavy toll beyond these gates. The peninsula is a dangerous place and we're restricting access on Lady Aradeth's orders. I assume you have proper guaranteeing cl quarantine clearance to enter the district? Lady Arabeth has assigned me to temporary militia duty. Aye, there was word she'd be hiring on adventurers to help fill the ranks. What can I do for you, then? Um... I don't really need anything this time. Goodbye. Be careful. There's plenty of danger afoot. Fun. Onwards to the Peninsula District. Ugh. Go far. We need to talk, citizen. Well met. If you're going on into the peninsula, keep your head up. There's been a person breaking the places, crawling with trouble. Does the militia have a plan of attack? For now, everyone's just trying to figure out what's going on. Someone's going to have to get into that prison, though, and get to the bottom of it. Thanks for the warning. If you want to thank me, go talk to Sado Settle at headquarters. We could definitely use your help cleaning up the head gailer's mess. Fun. Shit. Escape prisoners! We tell him to attack nearest, and if we go Rod of Frost in that battle. Let's crack his head in. He dead. He looped. Up there. Let's go rod frost mode. And then we're on there. Taste my savage fury! The rage of the red tiger unleashed! Yeah. That went well. Too opposed to looting the dead. We're just sort of, hey, if they don't need it anymore, then we could use it, right? That's our train of thought. Ooh, shit. Let's check the journal. When is the prison break? For the prison break in the Peninsula District Gate, Captain Kip recommends talking to Set of Civil to determine the best means of getting to the prison and helping out. She's headquartered in the district's southeast corner. Right, so we're on the right track. And I'm going to use my Rod of Frost on that bastard. He's lost a fair bit, so... Um, how do I heal him? Oh yeah, I go... Inventory. He's healed a bit. Um, 
looks like I'll leave this episode here. So, um, I hope you enjoyed so far. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series, and I hope you look forward to the rest of it as much as I look forward to playing it. Goodbye.